Greetings and welcome to Rocket Travels. Check this out. Yes, my house is sold. Let's go and check out my house and uh, we're gonna have a little chat about uh, me selling up in the UK, moving on, uh, sold my business, moving to Thailand and all that. First things first, I'm gonna show you my lovely little abode. Okay, lived in Rushton, Northamptonshire for 19 years today. There's my front door, there's my house. Now look, look, this is my neighbourhood. Lovely little neighbourhood, lovely neighbours. Gonna miss this, gonna miss the guys. Bit of a rat run this road, but never mind. That is a beautiful, beautiful sign. Sold sign. And uh, there's my house. There's my van, I've sold my business. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit more as I do this vlog. Here's my front door, I'm gonna show me house. It's all stripped. Uh, there's not a lot left in my house. Give a little guided tour. Uh, this is my living room. Still got my computer here. Uh, but yeah, the house is uh, pretty much stripped. I've got to get rid of uh, the sofa and some of the furniture. This is my dining room. All the chairs gone. Hopefully a friend's having the, the table. This is my kitchen all stripped <laughs> everything's empty oh it's not there's some dishcloths in there but most of it i've emptied there's not a lot left in the house uh maybe a skip or a couple of tip runs and uh we're done so um yeah if you're not watching my channel before i'm in the process of retiring and moving to thailand i've set up home there i've got a nice little two bedroom uh new build in a village called Tipawan in Hua Hin. I'm sure some of you guys have watched my channel. I've been following my uh, commitment to retiring and living in Thailand. There's the dunny, not showing you in there. As you can see, look, all the rooms are all the rooms are stripped. I've still got the odd bit of furniture. All the curtains are gone. Someone's bought me house, cash buyer, garden, cool. Me and my mate Mick, fair play to Mick, good man. He helped me out, landscape all the garden, get the house for sale. This is my little tip. <laughs> That's what my life's come down to, look. Empty shelves, no curtains. And that is my pit. So it's basically a sleeping bag on a single bed. I've got a standing heater, turn the gas off. Uh, it's been cold a little bit, not too bad, but turn the heating off. Don't spend any more money. And uh, this is uh, the other room. Yeah, it's all empty. There's a view from the front of the house. So the house is all sold. It's all good to go. Yeah, I'm flying back to Thailand uh, for the merry month of May. Uh, see the boss. I've had enough of the UK, so I'm just going to go. I've got no hotels to pay for any anymore. Got my got me uh, got my house. Let's go over the month and chill. I am going to Laos on the 9th of May. Uh, today is the 30th of April. I'm gonna try and whack this uh, vlog out today, later on. Uh, tomorrow, the 1st of May, my birthday. <laughs> Drop that one. Um, don't know, we manage things like that, but why not? Celebrating life a little bit. 59 years of age and about to retire. Yeah, fly to uh, Thailand tomorrow via uh, uh, Doha, Guitar Air. Uh, flying, uh, leaving um, here, my home here, 3.30 tomorrow morning. A uh, character that's been mentioned in the vlogs before, Ginger Pete, he's taking me. And uh, my flight's 8.15. Get to Bangkok at 6.10 Thursday morning. So I get home to Hua Hin, maybe about 11 o'clock. Taxi book, not doing the buses and stuff. I've got lots of luggage. Uh, so I'm going to get, get a taxi, get home quick and uh, start to uh, wind down and uh, start enjoying Thailand again. Right, so uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about how um, I've retired, um, how I did it. And um, to do that, I'm going to leave the house. <laughs> uh, the other day uh, I did a vlog on um, why I'm back in the UK and uh, this is why I'm leaving and uh, how I've left. Uh, so I'm gonna go and show you a different side of Rushton where I'm from. I'm gonna go down Rushton Lakes. It's very posh. So you, if you watch the last vlog on all the boarded up buildings and stuff, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's the, the downside of it. 
Now I'm going to go and show you uh, Rushton Lakes and have a little chat about how I uh, retired or about to retire at the age of 59. Let's go, Rushton Lakes, super cool. Okay, Rushton Lakes, Rushton, Northamptonshire. This place is well posh. Sun's just coming up. I've come up early doors because uh, I've got to check in my flight 8.15 and I've got to go to work today. Uh, I'm still doing a bit of work. So yeah, it's early doors one, so there's not many people about. Well, there's no one about, it's just me and some security guys. But it is very posh if you watched my last vlog. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning, look at that. It's not that bad in the UK, is it? Hey, gonna miss the spring in the UK. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, Rushton Lakes. Very, very nice shops. If you watched my vlog the other day, um, in the pouring rain, uh, showing you up all the boarded buildings, that was the town centre of Rushton. Uh, they built this place, Rushton Lakes, about years ago, pre-COVID. I suppose it's been here maybe seven years or so, I guess. Not 100% sure. But they built this place, it was an old, um, it's just like a bit of derelict land with an old, uh, used to be a little uh, dry ski slope here, uh, next to a lake. And over the years it became a dumping ground for rubbish and um, motorcycle, motorbikes <laughs> riding all around the, the, the wasteland and that. So they built this place, it is superb. Loads of Levi shops, Pro Cook, Waterstones, super dry. They got John Lewis, they got flannels, get your Stone Island. We've got all sorts here. Uh, big cinema complex. I'm not going to show you it all because this this isn't what this uh, vlog's about, Rushton Lakes. Um, it's about how um, I put my retirement plan together. So uh, yeah, there's a different side of Rushton. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Uh, there's some security guards about. Uh, <laughs> I don't think, oh man, if they say you're not allowed to film around here, I'm not expecting that. But um, uh, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to film in a car park or in a shopping centre place. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Anyway, we're going to head down to the lake because uh, it's a beautiful morning. It was a beautiful, beautiful lake here. When they built this place, uh, they, they uh, I think it's the Wildlife Trust, they invested a lot of money in the area. Uh, behind the lakes and there's lots and lots of uh, leisurely walks you know it's good for families good for exercise I've walked uh, most of the area back in the day I used to do a lot of walking a lot of exercise there's a lot of gym let myself go recently uh, when I get back to Thailand at some stage I'm gonna get back in I've put on weight so I need to need to get fit again lose some weight in my older years try and keep a bit trim by the way I've got new shades Bought them down here yesterday from the, they got Cathlon up, up, up the road. What's the new shades? 1999. Struggle to get shades in, the, in uh, Thailand. Decent ones. They all copy and they fall apart. So I've got these. I'm going to get some more before I go back to Thailand for good. But I'm just going to have a little wander down to the lake and I'm going to tell you my retirement plan, my selling up plan, leaving the UK plan. Let's go and check the lake out. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. I am going to miss the UK, uh, the countryside, the greenness. It's not all that bad. I mean, the weather's been bad, but um, this morning's beautiful. So anyway, I'm sure you're all going, get on with it. Get on with the show, if you can call it that. So, I'm sell I've sold my house. I've sold my business. Uh, I'm retiring at the age of 59. Um, so how do I do it all? I mean, most of my life, I just spent my money, earned and spent, spent what I earn. Uh, spent most of my life traveling on and off. Traveled uh, extensively in uh, the UK. Did a lot of hiking, wild camping, exploring. 22 years traveling back and forth to Thailand. Uh, settled down with Thai lady, the boss. <laughs> That's another story for another day, all that. And uh, yeah, uh, she lived in the UK for 19 years and um, she went back, she didn't like it here, didn't like the weather, the rat race, the culture, the food, <laughs> etc. Anyway, so um, I got to an age, I think it was four, four years ago, and I thought, Do you know what, I need to make a retirement plan. So um, what was I going to do, you know, I didn't really have a lot of money, a little bit of savings, 
how the hell am I going to retire? Have I got to wait till I'm 67 to get my pension and then, um, you know, somehow try and, you know, set up life in Thailand just on a pension? So, um, yeah, put my head together and uh, made a plan. So uh, the plan was basically uh, to put myself in a financial position where I could set up home there and retire comfortably uh, on my savings, etc. Explain etc. in a minute uh, until I get to my pension age. So, uh, am I taking a chance? Yeah, I suppose I am in some ways because um, you know to, to live off your savings, it's going to be like eight years uh, till I get my state pension. Um, so yeah, I need the willpower. Hence, uh, on my future vlogs in Thailand and stuff, everything's going to be on a budget. Uh, cheap Charlie budget. <laughs> I'm going to go into the Cheap Charlie thing again um, at some stage, explain. You know, if you're on a budget, you know, are you Cheap Charlie or are you just trying to survive? You know. Anyway, so uh, I work uh, as a window cleaner in the UK. Now, working as a window cleaner, you are never, ever going to um, earn enough money <laughs> to have a uh, luxurious lifestyle so um, what I decided to do and I took inspiration from uh, a couple other lads who uh, were back and forth to Thailand and, um, and they're there now permanently uh, is double shifting so I made this plan and I, I worked out how much money I needed for my retirement uh, to, to get through so um, basically I double shifted, so I worked uh, window cleaning from 8 o'clock in the morning to uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, worked like mad basically, you can imagine in that time scale you don't, you have limited time, you know, bad weather etc. And, um, and then I used to go and work, good morning, uh, then like about 2 o'clock um, I'd go off to the warehouse. So um, I'd work two to 10. So I was basically doing about 16, 15, 16 hours a day. Now all the money I did from a double shift in went in the bank and saved it. Uh, once a year, I'd put it into a fixed rate bond and it can just sit there. Uh, currently I think fixed rate bonds are about 4%. Uh, on top of uh, my earnings, I was obviously saving out of my window cleaning round as well. Cut down on my social life, etc. Um, stopped going places. Um, you know, weekends I used to go off, stopped doing that. Stopped everything, camping, buying clothes, anything and everything I could do to find a way to uh, save money. And on top of that, I rented uh, I got a three bedroom house, I rented the two rent rooms out and lived in the small room, which you see earlier on, uh, for the last four or five years. It's been, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a box room, yeah. So a huge sacrifice there. But all the rental income uh, went in the bank. Uh, so that topped up me um, double shifting money. And on top of that, what I also done was uh, during the... I can't remember, it must have been just after the COVID thing. Um, I cashed in free private pensions. Now the free private pensions were worth nothing uh, as a pension. I think the forecast was like 700 pounds a year. Uh, they got frozen years ago because I couldn't afford to pay in because I was bringing up a family. Didn't have the money to spare money to pay in. So um, what I did is I cashed in my pensions and with a little bit of savings, I bought a second property. Now, sounds very grand, but I bought basically bought a little two up, two down up north in a place called Bishop Auckland. And, and it had a sitting tenant and a lovely lady. She pays me rent every month. So that rental income all went in the pot. So you can see the picture. I got all that double shifting salary and um, all that rental income. And over the last four or five years, every, every year, I've put a lump sum into a fixed rate bond at roughly about 4%. So you can imagine the interest all building up, etc. So that has built up enough money on its own for me to, uh, to retire to Thailand comfortably on a budget. 
and then with the sale of my house that is going back in the bank and that'll get invested in fixed rate bonds as well morning, morning. Uh, so yeah that's the picture basically and also on top of that I've sold sold my business as well uh, so there's income from that as well but that will be basically go towards my initial probably my first year two years uh, I've got enough money in the bank to see me through a couple of years before I even touch my savings so you see the picture I can get through a couple of years without touching my savings and then I've got big big lump sums coming out every year with these uh, when these are uh, fixed rate bonds they're two to three years uh, to mature and, uh, and then eventually I'll get my state pension state pension at the moment it's about 221 it's in the triple lock it's going to go up uh, reasonably well next year as well because of the triple lock and then eventually uh, I think the predictions for my pension age which will be 2040 uh, British state pension is going to be about 280 uh, that's the predictions obviously it could change could be more could be less etc who knows but um, that kind of money uh, living in Thailand you're going to live very comfortably uh, with, with, with the economy so yeah that's basic picture of how I'm retiring to Thailand so I'm dividing my savings into uh, into the years that um, I'm retired and it gives me uh, a very comfortable amount if you've watched my channel before uh, I budget and live off basically 10,000 baht a um, 10,000 baht uh, a week and on top of that I get a little bit of rental income which helps pay for my uh, rent in in Thailand and I do have a big safety net um, I can't really go into uh, all my financial figures I'm not going to give you exact sums I don't think that's uh, right um, but you can imagine if you've got a reasonable amount and you're living off 200 pounds a week then um, yeah you're going to survive you're going to be there um, so that's it that's how um, I put together uh, my retirement plan uh, some people might say, well, you're chancing it. I'll take a chance. You know, 59 years of age, what else am I going to do? Sit here and wait for something to happen? Nah, it's not happening. So uh, I'm going to give it a go, take a chance. Uh, I believe I have the willpower. And plus also, I'm not taking... Uh, this is a YouTube channel. Uh, I am monetized now. I am starting to make a little bit of money. Um, how much money do I make? Uh, at the moment it's, I don't think it's too bad you probably think it's a very small amount but um, it's a it's a work in progress I earn about $30 a month at the moment uh, but obviously once I'm uh, fully retired there'll be more vlogs and um, hopefully more and more subs and people will follow my little adventure my little journey uh, I've got lots of things to do I mean at the moment it's been settling into life in uh, Thailand uh, setting up home morning uh, so uh, I'm gonna be doing a, it's not what I wanted from the channel but it's part of the parcel part of the adventure part of the story um, so uh, from maybe July well even from from uh, next month next week uh, there'll be more adventures on the 9th of May I'm off to Laos uh, yeah camping up in the mountains potentially taking my sleeping bag with me and my tent uh, hiring, uh, going up on a sleeper train to the Lao border, uh, hire a bike out of uh, Vientiane and uh, heading for the hills. Um, and then when I find, I think I should be fully retired and in Thailand full time saying goodbye to UK by July, early July, late June. Um, I do have to come back to the UK one more time, sign, sign things over, uh, my business and my house. Uh, and that's it so I'm just waiting for the house uh, to actually get the money in the bank so sign the forms so I do have to fly back uh, beginning of June so uh, yeah the channel there'll be there's going to be more adventures and I mean big adventures uh, I've got a five-year bucket list of countries to visit uh, I mentioned in previous vlogs India uh, I was going to go there um, but I'm going to wait till I'm fully retired instead of going for like you know a couple of weeks uh, go for a few months so I'm going to wait till I'm retired till I do uh, long long term travel. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to the adventures. So my channel is going to be more me going. Uh, I like remote, isolated places. I like the places off the beaten track. 
Uh, I love the, the, the mountainous sceneries around the world. Uh, I love the cultures. So there's going to be loads, loads, loads and loads of venture blogs from me. Uh, it's not going to be a channel where it's the five best things to do in Hua Hin. It's not going to be a channel on cost of living all the time. Uh, I'm going to cover things like that initially, but eventually it's going to be on the road and having adventures. So uh, yeah, the channel, there'll be, there's going to be more adventures, and I mean big adventures. Uh, I've got a five year bucket list of countries to visit. Uh, I mentioned in previous vlogs India, uh, I was going to go there. Um, but I'm going to wait till I'm fully retired instead of going for like, you know, a couple of weeks uh, Go for a few months. So I'm going to wait till I'm retired till I do a uh, long long-term travel But uh, yeah, really looking forward to the adventures. So my channel is going to be more Me going. Uh, I like remote isolated places. I like the places off the beaten track uh, I love the, the, the mountainous sceneries around the world. Uh, I love the cultures So there's going to be loads 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 and loads adventure blogs from me uh, it's not going to be a channel where it's the five best things to do in Hua Hin it's not going to be a channel on cost of living all the time uh, I, I'm going to cover things like that initially but eventually it's going to be on the road and having adventures um, so there you go so uh, I hope that sort of explains everything I probably haven't covered everything but it's uh, just the progression with the vlogs a canoe in here Beautiful, beautiful morning. Really going to miss the UK. But uh, I've explained in my last vlog the economy, the winters, uh, the opportunities for me in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, other countries uh, excites me. Um, yeah, I need a new, it's a new chapter in my life. So um, there you go. So from, I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know how long the vlog is. But um, just thought I'd do, I hope that explains. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But uh, anyway, I've got to go in and check in my flight now. Um, 8.15 this morning, 24 hours for I'm going to try and get myself a window seat for the flight. And uh, Ginger Pete's picking me up at half past three. And uh, we'll be on our way back to Thailand. The boss is super excited. I'm going to make a vlog. There's going to be more vlogs now, like I just said. So I'm going to do a vlog on my travel to back, back to Thailand. And also, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, 59 years of age. Uh, exactly 19 years ago that I moved from London to Rushton and uh, I'm going to attempt to do my first live vlog uh, how that works out I don't know I've had a practice run because you're supposed to do one and it takes 24 hours to get approved so I've done that so I'm hoping tomorrow not too sure what time uh, around the world but I'll be in Doha I'm going to attempt to do my first live anyone watches it i don't know i've got just over a thousand subs maybe somebody somewhere anyway <laughs> that's what i thought it would be like a five minute vlog but it's gone on and on and on now anyway you know what it's like me starting you know once i start i can't stop so uh anyway i'm gonna end this now and i look forward to uh new adventures and a new life so from rocket travels over and out have a good day morning evening or whatever peace be with you take care